John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting new build. Um, it's utilizing a quad um, frame from my RC Mart. It's called the Eggy 135. Um, so what that will allow is to, for the use of three inch propellers uh, with the T style mounts. Um, in the past when you go to a three inch propeller using the 11 05, 1106 motors, they tend to overheat because of the uh, power requirements for the three inch propellers. Nick Burns just finished up a dialogue on that on his channel, and he's been only able to get about anywhere from 30 to 60 flights per motor before they burn out. But by using a 13, I'm using the RCX 1304 motors, it's a fairly new motor, and it puts out about 50 grams more thrust than the 11 series motors. Um, so I wanted to try these motors out with this frame and see how uh, it works with the 3 inch props. Uh, my other 3 inch uh, quads with bigger motors, say like uh, 1306 motors or 1407s, they've been coming in fairly heavy. They, the lightest one I think is probably about 125 grams and they go up to 150 grams without the battery. The weight of this particular quad with the um, all the components here, uh, when I put it on the scale, was 83 grams, not including the battery. So this will be a lightweight quad that's flying three inch uh, props with plenty of power. Um, some other things on this build is the frame. It comes with a carbon uh, uh, top here and it's a uh, 20 millimeter spacing so it holds the run cam, run cam micro real well. Um, I'm also using the run cam uh, micro there VTX that's built for it that hooks right on the back it's 25 uh, milliwatts and the other product I'm using is a um, mini cube uh, F3 mini cube from um, this one here is from Machine from Banggood and I got this on their anniversary sale the soldering has been fairly simple. Uh, the only thing I had to solder on this setup, uh, on this model, is just the motor ESC wires. Uh, I wanted to run those through the middle and come out, but there's too many wires in here to do that. Hindsight, I could have gone through the bottom and uh, um, soldered them on the bottom of the ESC, but I already had the tops tinned and it looked like it'd be difficult to get in there to do that. I uh, might have to do it off the model and then put it back on. So I just went ahead and um, soldered those the traditional way coming in. I doubt if those cables are going to get hit. It's just not quite as clean. I just completed the build. Uh, it went together really well. Um, I really love these uh, three-in-one uh, stacks uh, with the um, uh, ESCs on the bottom, the flight control board, and the uh, fly, fly, fly sky receiver in there. So it made a nice easy build. The dry weight of this is uh, 84 grams and with the uh, battery, this is a 550 milliamp hour battery, uh, that brings it up to about 130 grams. So a little heavier than the um, uh, 1105 4 series uh, quads but a lot less than like the 1306 quads uh, and 1407 quads so this fills a nice gap and allow uh, the use of three inch propellers. So this is my first FPV flight with this RCX 135 quad copter. I did not have any 3S batteries with uh, XT30 connectors, so this is a 2S battery flight. The 2S worked good, and the 3S battery should be a lot faster. I have ordered four 3S batteries, and after they come in, I will make another video flying 3S with some gates and give an update on this model. The motors flying 2S were very efficient. I got over eight minutes of flight time with this uh, 550 milliamp hour battery on 2S. The power to weight ratio on 3S will be seven and a half to one, which is just a little less than my uh, racing quads running on 4S. So it's very good. 
The first thing you I noticed uh, is the quality of the camera. The um, Run Cam Micro Swift uh, is just fantastic. The colors are great. Um, uh, the washout from the sun is very minimal compared to uh, the CMOS cameras that I've used to. You could actually see where you're flying. The sun will make a bright spot, but you could normally fly around it. So I was very happy with the camera. Um, the VTX uh, from RunCam, I was not quite as happy. It really makes a clean build when it connects to the back of the camera like that. But um, when I'd get out uh, anywhere from 70 to 130 meters, uh, it would start to break up the video. And I was afraid I'd have to come in and land it if I didn't get it back closer. Uh, part of that is I'm going through a number of trees. There's probably uh, four or five trees that I'm going through, but it only has about a hundred meter range. The other problem of the receiver or VTX uh, mounted onto the camera is it makes that assembly a little longer. So you have to use the front uh, mounting holes instead of the ones about a quarter inch to the rear. And as a result, the camera lens sticks out by about an eighth of an inch. So there, so there is a chance that you could damage the camera if you hit something. Um, where if you mounted the uh, VTX elsewhere on the quad, you could use those back mounting holes and the uh, frame of the quad would uh, protect the camera. Last year, Andy RC on his channel reviewed the Terra 130, which is another three inch quadcopter. Uh, he said it was the best brushless micro and uh, best product of last year. Um, this quad has uh, 200 more grams of thrust, weighs six grams less, and has a lot better camera. So, this will definitely be one of my favorites. In the next several weeks, I hope to bring another video out on this quadcopter running 3S. Uh, please leave any comments below. Thank you for watching.